This is the story of two valiant peoples, two ancient cultures, two neighbors who have stood by each other over millennia, of a friendship that has stood the test of time. The Kabuliwala, the Afghan trader traveling routinely to India, immortalized by Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore, lives in the hearts of Indians. मैं बहुत दूर देश से आया पहाड़ों के उस पार से देखो तुम्हारे वास्ते क्या लाया अफगानिस्तान एंड इंडिया हैव ट्रस्टेड ईच अदर एंड गेन फ्रॉम ईच अदर सिंस द बिगिनिंग ऑफ टाइम दिस स्टोरी स्टार्ट्स when the aryans of central asia traveled out two centers of aryan civilization arose almost simultaneously aryana or present day afghanistan and aryavart or india the ancient land west of indus finds mention in the earliest of indian texts the rigved and panini the father of sanskrit grammar is believed to be from this area the ancient city of gandhar or shall we say kandahar finds a mention in the oldest of indian epics the mahabharat buddhism traveled from india to afghanistan and created world renowned icons and the sufis of the chishtia tradition were a gift from afghanistan to india spiritual and cultural spectrum the early medieval centuries saw several afghan dynasties arrive at the subcontinent they came to conquer and became a part of the indian syncretic mainstream sher shah suri an afghan born in sasaram in the eastern indian state of bihar dreamt of linking the indian heartland to kabul He is the architect of the Grand Trunk Road. The road for which Kipling wrote such a river of life that ever was. And this river of life nourished a new lifestyle, a new religion, a new architectural style, a new art, a new music and the seeds of a new language. Many of these customs and styles are alive in both India and Afghanistan till today. In Rampur, where large populations of Pathans still live, the local culture reflects many flavors of Afghan lifestyle. It all started in 1704. Uh, we are basically Rohila Pathans and uh, our ancestors were traders from Kandahar in Afghanistan. The strongest point of Afghani culture in India is Rampur. The Rohila Sardars who died in the battle, the Mohallas in Rampur, they are all named after them. Rohilas were basically fighters. Rampuri Chaku, I think, originated from that part of the Afghani uh, culture. Over the centuries, Pathans of Afghan origin settled in many centers across India. They are proud of their Afghan roots. and their indian identities as india intensified its struggle for independence frontier gandhi khan abdul ghaffar khan symbolized the spirit of non violence and kabul played host to prominent indian leader 
सुभाष चंद्र बोस द ईयर 1947 इंडिया बिकम्स इंडिपेंडेंट एंड द हिस्टोरिकल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू नेबर्स इज सेट टू अटेन न्यू हाइट्स As this friendship grew stronger, a constant stream of people of Afghan origin added their own hues to independent India's pluralistic identity. Sar zameen e Hindustan. Assalamu alaikum. Yaar hai iman mera yaar meri zindagi. The last decades of the 20th century were turbulent times for Afghanistan. In those days of uncertainty, Afghans saw India as a home away from home. India mein jo hai bahut shanti hai. Log jo hai bahut shanti log hai. Ladai nahi hai, baat ye hai ki ya India mein hum safe the long standing ties the deep understanding commonality of culture and the freedom to learn new skills while being one with their roots was at the heart of this confidence mera naam zora hai aur main second class mein padhti hu aur main india mein rehti hu main bade hokar teacher bana chahti hu afghanistan mein ek school khola chahti hu afghani bacche आ, अपने देश में दूर मगर एजुकेशन में दूर नहीं क्योंकि यहाँ अपने मदर टंग भी सीखेगा थाउजेंड्स ऑफ अफगान चोज इंडिया टू कम एंड हील देर वूम्स दिस इज माई नीस शी इज नो हियरिंग नो स्पीकिंग आई होप इन दिस हॉस्पिटल दैट ट्रीटमेंट विल बी डन so again we will uh, return to afghanistan by the very happiness students media military doctors entrepreneurs artists parliamentarians diplomats or professionals they all chose to come to india to learn the skills needed to match all the facets of reconstruction and to train themselves i choose medical to serve my people india produces the best doctors in the world so i choose india i am scholarship from the iccr the non government sector and india's top industrial institutions stepped in to rebuild the skills lost in the times of war and to create new opportunities for afghan businesses the age old trade links revive india international trade fair 2009 new delhi the participation by afghan entrepreneurs and the response of the indian people is its own testimony india welcomes afghanistan in its comity and gets enriched in doing so here and played in delhi people liked our music a lot and they were very uh, excited jaise ki afghan ka dil saaf hai usi tarah hindustan ka dil bhi saaf hai india mein ko acha lagta hai padhna acha lagta hai india feels like home i came here to study and i fell in love with india because it reminds me my country how much in common how much we share 